Good evening po ulit sa lahat po ng ating mga ka-parents. Uh, ilang araw din po akong hindi nakapag-share ng ating mga lessons sa kanilang mga modules dahil po uh, na-delay po ang ilan sa mga modules ng ating mga anak. Ang lesson content po natin para sa kanilang mathematics is rounding numbers to the nearest thousands and ten thousand. So, in this lesson po, ang mga anak po natin is um, uh, they are going to master the rules and apply the principles in surrounding numbers. Do you know what is rounding means? Rounding means making a number simpler but keeping its value close to what it was. There are two general rules for rounding a number. And what these are rules are? Rule number one is if the number you are rounding is followed by 6, 7, or 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, round the number up. And rule number 2 is if the number you are rounding is followed by 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, round the number down. And this is the rule number 1. If the number is followed by 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, the number would be round up. So, we have an example here. We have the number 38. So, how we can round off 38 to the nearest 10? Do you know where is the tens value here? So, this is the ones, the ones value and this is the tens value. So, what we are going to do now is to round it into the nearest 10. So, since 3 is followed by 8, so what would be the answer now? So, the answer, it would be, very good, it would be the number 40. 38 now is round up by 40. It's 40 because we... Uh, round it to the nearest 10. Rule number 2, if the number followed by 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, the, mo the number should be rounding down or round down. We have an example here. I write the 645, uh, round it to the nearest hundreds. So, we have the ones, tens, and hundreds. So this is the uh, number that we're going to uh, round to the nearest hundreds. So what is the number uh, written before the number six? So as you can see, the numbers that come between before 6 is 4, it means to say that we're going to round it round down. So, 645 round to nearest 100, the answer is 600. So, that are the two rules that we're going to follow in rounding a number. Before we proceed to answer the what I know activity on your module, let us first identify the value of its given of the given number. So, do you know how to identify the place value of the given number? So, we have the ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, and we have the hundred thousands let me repeat it ones tens hundreds thousand ten thousand hundred thousands let us check now our ability in rounding a number so let us do together the first activity on your module so this is the first activity that we have on your module let us do it all together. Number uh, letter A, round the number to the nearest thousand. Always remember the two general rules. If the number you are rounding is followed by 5, 
six, seven, eight, or nine, round the number up. But if the number is followed by zero, one, two, three, and four, it should be round down. So let us do the number one first. So this is one, ten, hundreds, and this is the thousand. The number that we're going to uh, round. Eight is followed by five. So what are you going to do? Round up or round down? So the answer, it should be nine thousand. So I think you can do uh, the rest of the exercises. In letter B, Round the number to the nearest 10,000. Identify first the place value of the number. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, and this is the 10,000. 10,000 is followed by 4. Round up or round down? Write your answer now. On page 2, What's in activity? Round the numbers to the nearest hundreds. This is the ones, tens, hundreds. So all these numbers that was written here in this column, they are the hundreds, tens value. So round them to the nearest hundreds. Number one. We have two before one. Is it round up or round down? Write your answer on the blank. You can do it now. Identify first the place value of the number that you are going to round. Ones, tens, hundreds. On page 3, it is a situation that you are going to read before you are going to answer the following question. Mr. and Mrs. Santos went grocery shopping at SNR Shopping Center last week. They shop for goods that they will consume during the enhanced community quarantine. The question, if rounded to the nearest 10,000, how much is the total cost of all the, of all the items bought by Mr. and Mrs. Santos? So add all these prices before uh, you can get the nearest, before you can round it to the nearest 10,000. So, what would be the answer? Let us uh, add all these prices. So, we have 0, 0, 0, and we have 5. So, 5 plus 3, plus 2, plus 8, and plus 1. So, we have 19. We have 19,500. So, round it to the nearest 10,000. How can you round it to the nearest 10,000? So, we have 1, 10, 100, 1,000, and 10,000. This is the 10,000. We have number 9 here. So, what we're going to do? Round up or round down? Write your answer uh, right beside uh, the total amount of prices. You can write your answer there. You can now answer these uh, following questions by referring to that table and by reading this situation. Start answering them. 
use this table as your reference for for the other a question and you can also refer into this situation and this is the activity one on the page six of our module round to the nearest ten thousand so we're going to write round up and round down if the number is rounded to the nearest ten thousand let us do the number one we have twenty twenty one thousand two hundred thirty five how can we round it to the nearest ten thousand ones tens hundreds thousand ten thousand so what would be your answer is it round up or round down twenty one thousand so the answer is Wrong, wrong down. So, two to five, you can answer them now. You can also answer the activity two. Read and understand each given question. Answer now the activity two. Read and understand carefully the given question so I think you can circle your answer so number one is what number is rounded to 15,000 and the rest you can do the rest now Before we can answer the letter B on page 7 on your module, let us first discuss it. We have a sample number here. It's the 3,409 is nearer to 3,000 or 4,000. Before you can answer it, always remember the two rows that, have, that we have mentioned a while ago. If the number you are rounding is followed by 5, 6, 7, or 9, the number should be rounded up. But if the number you are rounding is followed by 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, the number should be rounded down. So, 3,409 is nearer to 3,000 because of this place value 3,409 is nearer to 3,000 so you can now start answering this activity activity B on page 7 So, how can we round off the 5,560? So, we round out if it will become 6,000. Let's check the number, the place value. 5,560 was rounded to 6,000. You can now answer activity 3. Number 1 is already done for you. Draw a number to connect your answer in column B. Rounding off a number. On what I can do on page 9, all you have to do is to read the following situations and answer the questions that follow. So I, we already uh, collect the data and put it in my uh, whiteboard. I just add the two number and after getting the sum of these two number, you are going to round it to the nearest 10,000. So ang sagot dyan, lalagay ninyo, huwag na ilalagay yung kung ano na kuwang answer dito, 
ilalagay na dyan yung nearest 10,000 kapag ni-round off na natin ang sagot natin dito. And number 2, uh, just add the 3,300, 5,200, and 3,400. Wala nang gagawin na round, rounding off a number. So, ilalagay na lang natin na answer dito. Uh, kung ano nakuha natin, yun ang ilalagay natin sa number 2. And also, in number uh, 3, uh, just uh, add the, um, the amount of money and after getting the sum, uh, round it to the nearest thousands. Round it naman natin siya sa nearest thousand. Tingnan mabuti yung place value na sinasabi na ira-round off natin. I think you can also do the assessment on page 10. Madali na lang gawin yan. Nagawan natin yung iba. It is only just a, a assessment. And also in letter B. Round naman natin siya to the nearest 10,000. Nakamark na yung mga numbers na i-round off ninyo. You can also do the additional activities. Number one, write down two numbers that can be rounded to 30,000. Ano ba yung mga numbers na pwede natin i-round i-round up para maging 30,000? Pwede dyan 25,000 susunod and then susunod. And number two, write down three numbers that can be rounded to 5,000. Tatlong numbers na pwedeng mag-round off para maging 5,000. Pwedeng 4. You can do it now. So, that is the end of our module 2, lesson 1 in their mathematics subject. Makatulong po sana muli ang video nito sa ating mga anak at sa lahat ng mga magulang na walang sarong sumusuporta para sa pag-aaral ng kanilang mga anak. Again po, happy learning po sa ating lahat. I-enjoy lang po natin ang pagtuturo bilang nanay-teacher sa ating mga anak.